like to take a few minutes and uh, talk about these rudiments from hell, which I've developed. The rudiments from hell are basically um, standard rudiments which I've altered to make more difficult, and sometimes they're purposefully so difficult that you can hardly play them. And I found that that's really helped my control and uh, my technique. Um, where they came from, I'd have to say, uh, came from, from a gentleman by the name of Rob Carson, who heads up the marching drum department at Remo Incorporated. Rob is a three-time world champion rudimental drummer, and his hands are phenomenal. And he showed me a couple of stickings that dealt with hand-to-hand -hand flams, and um, another concept, which is the concept of the flammed ruff, uh, which really opened up my playing. Now, a flammed ruff, I believe I discussed earlier, but it's basically where you have a grace note, and then instead of coming down with a single stroke, you come down with a double stroke. So you have this little double there, and it creates a texture that's unlike playing three single strokes. It just has this sort of blah little texture to it that's, that's a wonderful thing. And with some of these rudiments, I've developed the ability to be able to play these flammed roughs or flams kind of hand-to-hand -hand and put them in any, any places in the beat. And um, this is a great help um, when getting back and forth around the drums and um, soloing around the toms. So um, having said that, and having said that you'll have these, uh, a lot of these variations written out in the little exercise book, I'm just going to demonstrate a few of them for you now. This one here is, um, had its roots in a single flammed mill, and I've added a, a flammed rough where the flam was to make it more difficult. And this deals with a situation where I'm coming off of one of these flammed roughs, which has a double stroke, and I have to immediately play another right. So uh, I have to recover from the double and play another single immediately. And that's what's so difficult about it and uh, what's so challenging. So when I do these, they sound very discombobulated and, and um, kind of like, uh, you know, like a, a broken gallop or something. They're not very precise, but um, uh, they're, they're interesting technique builders. Okay, now this next one is uh, coming from a f uh, flam tap, and um, only I've replaced the flams with uh, flammed ruffs, so I call it a fluff tap. Now this next one is uh, a variation of a rudiment called the pata fla fla, and uh, that basically has hand-to-hand -hand flams over the bar line, or over, yeah, over the bar line. Let's say if you're talking about a four-note pattern, and I've replaced those hand-to-hand -hand flams with hand-to-hand -hand flammed roughs, which are very difficult to play. So here's uh, pata fla fla. And finally, we have um, kind of a variation on a paradiddle diddle. And I've got some extra flams and flammed roughs in it, so it's kind of complicated. I just want to say in closing that um, I know a lot of the techniques I'm, I've been utilizing are uh, 
going to seem very advanced if you're a young drummer and you're just starting out. Um, I don't want you to be overwhelmed by the material that I'm presenting here. It's, it's more to just uh, be inspirational, and you have to keep in mind that it took me a long time to get to the point where I could do some of these things, and I'm still working 